Hi, welcome to Ray at the Movies, and today we're gonna, uh, and also this is part of the 31 Days of Halloween, I'm sorry. Um, this movie came out, Madhouse came out on March 4th, 1981, and this was a blind buy from Arrow Video. I liked the cover, it got my attention. You see this little girl in shadow with a dog, with a right, well, what rod, Rottweiler, and it grabbed my attention. The movie is not that, it's different than what that cover, the cover is kind of misleading, but that's okay. I actually don't hate it as much as I originally did. So let's go into it. The cast is Patricia, Mickey, Mistress, The Secret Life of Kathy McCormick, Michael McRow, Summer School, Shoot to Kill, Run, Born to be Wild, Dennis Robertson, Crossfire, Stone, Where the Buffaloes Roam, Night of the Scarecrow, Morgan Most, The Man That Wasn't There, My Wicked, Wicked Ways, The Legend of Earl Flynn, I Love New York, Allison Biggers, Coward in the Country, Six Pack, Review, Mirror, Doorman, directed by Olavo G. Ashness, Beyond the Door, Tentacles, Iron Warrior, Over the Line, written by Stephen Blakely, only movie he wrote, by the way, and Roberto Gundas wrote No Way Out, Snatch, Last Feelings, Macabre. Peter Strunkford didn't write anything else. Music by Riz Artinelli, Killer Crocodile, The Last Minute, Killer Crocodile 2, The Youngest Son. Julia, Julia, a teacher, is in a school for the deaf, has a hideously deformed and deranged twin sister that resides in the local loony bin. She escapes to cra gate crash a surprise birthday party for Julia. A deformed escapee flees from a mental institution and organizes a morbid birthday surprise for her twin sister. The entire crew had to be, this is a trivia now, sorry. The entire crew had to be still and quiet during the shooting of any scenes involving the Rottweilers dogs. The film was originally listed as Madhouse as one of the official UK DPP Art 72 video nasties. It was released fully uncut in 2004. Producer of the uh, census had, a, had to fire and subsequently fill in for the original director who was hired to do this film 10 days into the production. However, it was later revealed that the same had happened on Beyond the Door and he would famously do it again with James Cameron on Piranha 2 The Spawn and Cameron claimed that Ascentis only hired as an American director to get studios to finance his productions. He would then declare that that director incompetent just so he could fire them and direct the movie itself. It's an interesting movie, okay? I'm going to give you that. I actually like it a little bit better, so I give it three out of five. It is about a, a teacher who's, uh, Julia, who is, has a school, teaches a school for the deaf, and she has a twin sister who escapes and tries to cause problems for her and slowly starts killing people off around her, and there is a Rottweiler. This movie actually is, uh, does something to a character, kills off a character, you wouldn't expect uh, gets killed off. So it's kind of a surprise. You're kind of, when the scene happens, you're like, oh, please don't show this. Please don't show this person, this character get killed. And they don't, which is, I, I, I like that. And then I was afraid they were going to bring that character as a surprise towards the end. So this movie is a, a decent film. I never heard of it before, but uh, it's not that bad as I remember. I kind of like it now. I think I was a little disappointed because I'll show you the cover. Hold on. Okay, here's the cover. It almost kind of looks like a girl going around killing uh, people. And it's part of the, um, well, I'm not disappointed. I'm just, it kind of surprised me because I thought that's what it was, was a, a kid going around killing people. Because that's what it made it look like. Because they do have movies where kids are killing adults and stuff and killing people. There is, be, don't be surprised, there is a twist at the end. That you wouldn't, you're not going to see coming. But if you rewatch the movie again, you can kind of see there's subtle hints to this reveal towards the end of the movie. So, like I said, this is a, a pretty decent film. I'm not going to do a review on the Blu-ray itself, though. I just wanted to show you the cover. So I was a little bit disappointed, but after watching it again, it's a pretty decent film. It doesn't drag. That's the one thing I will say. It does not drag. So with that, I'm out of here. This was my 31 days of Halloween. As far as my 31 days of Halloween, I hope I said that. 
Um, so with that, I'm out of here.